Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So far, I have completed 11 problems on financial statement analysis. In this video, two more final problems I'm going to explain you regarding the comparative balance sheet. Next video onwards, I'll explain about the trend analysis. In this video, problem 12th and 13th, I'm going to explain in which I'm going to make comparative balance sheet. So before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I've given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the solution of 12th and 13th problem, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, see the problem number 12. The following are the extracts from the balance sheets for the year 2016 and 2017 and the supporting notes to the accounts. Prepare the comparative balance sheet and comment on the financial position. The so two years are given last year 2016, current year 2017. Particulars 6% preferences, equity shares, reserves. That means we have to uh, I mean, put all these items in a systematic format of the balance sheet. Vertical format. Where this preferential capital, equity share capital and reserves. These three will be taken in the shareholders fund. Then outstanding tax, it's a current liability. Creditor bills payable, current liability. Debentures will be taken under non-current liability. Then land, building, plant, furniture, these four will be taken under fixed assets. Stock, debtors and cash, these three will be taken under current assets. So in this way, we have to make the statement balance sheet. Comparative balance sheet for the year 2016-17. The particulars 16, 17 absolute change, percentage change. So first of all, equity and liability shareholders fund, 6% preferential capital, equity share capital reserves. These three items under shareholders fund. And I have copied down all the values of last year and current year and put it as A. So A is the total of shareholders fund. Now non-current liabilities are debentures. I treat the debentures as B. We denote it as B. Then current liability are outstanding tax, creditors and bills payable. These three are the current liabilities C. So A is the shareholders fund, B is the non-current liability, C is the current liability. A plus B plus C, we get the total of the liability side 1,30,000 last year. And current year 1,52,000 total of the equity and liabilities. Now assets. Assets are divided into two categories, non-current assets and current assets. Non-current assets means fixed assets, land, building, plant, furniture, four fixed assets are there. Respective amounts are taken, I denoted it as D. D is denoted for fixed assets. Next, current assets are stock, debtors, cash, respective items are taken. And the total of current assets is denoted as E. Total D plus E. The balance sheet is tallied. The liability side total 1,30,000, assets also 1,30,000. Current year it is 1,52,000, here also 1,52,000, over. Now simply we have to find out the absolute change and percentage change. Absolute change, current year value minus last year value, 30 minus 30 is nil. No change in preference share capital, no change in equity share capital. Huh, reserves, last year 20, current year 24,500. So 24,500 minus 20,000, 4,500 is the absolute change. So 4,500 divided by 20,000 into 100, you will get 22.5 percentage change. Now total 9,400 minus 90,000 is 4,500. 4,500 divided by 90,000 into 100, you will get 5%. Like this we have calculated for all absolute change, current year value minus last year value. Percentage change, absolute change divided by last year figure into 100. That's it. So after making all these calculations, now we have to give the interpretation. So for giving interpretation, first we compare the current assets with current liability to find out the short term liquidity position. So current assets, see current assets have increased by 48%. Total of the current assets have increased by 48%. Whereas current liabilities have increased by 41.67%. That means current liability has increased at a lower rate 
and current assets have increased at a higher rate. So it is a good liquidity position. In other words, we can say the liquidity position has improved in the current year 2017. The increase in current asset has been greater than the increase in current liability. This will improve the short term liquidity position. First interpretation. Second, no fresh investment has been made in fixed assets. Now you can see land 10,000, 10,000, no change. Then building 30,000, 27,000 decreased. And plant also 30, 27 decreased. Furniture is 10,000, 14,000, 4,000 increased. Among these four fixed assets, there is increase only in furniture. The other fixed assets, no additions were made. That point we can write. No fresh investment has been made in fixed assets except furniture. This has been met with the help of debentures. This will not only help in long term solvency but also improve leverage. How this furniture has been financed? We have to compare the long term funds. Debentures you can see last year debenture 10,000, current year debenture 15,000. So there is 50% increase in debentures. So we can assume that furniture is purchased from the proceeds of debenture, which is a prudent commercial policy because according to the business law the fixed assets should be purchased from long term funds debentures or equity capital preference capital here also furniture is increased and debentures are increased so we can assume furniture is purchased from debenture which is a good policy it will bring some leverage leverage means using the debt in the capital of the business to increase the return to increase the return, we are using debt that is called leverage. Now, a modest rise in reserves is indicative of profitability of the company. Reserves, you can see last year 20,000, current year 24,500. So there is increase of 4,500, 22,500, 22.5%. So reserves have increased by 22.5%. It indicates there is a moderate increase in profitability. Then the overall position can be considered as satisfied. From this comparative analysis, we can conclude the, the financial position is satisfactory in the current year. That's it. Now we'll start the next problem, problem number 13. Following information is extracted from the financial statement of Ravi Limited for the year ended 31st December 16 and 17. Particulars. This is a problem of income statement. Last problem we have done the balance sheet. Now particulars. 2016 2017 provision for bad debts so provision for bad debts will be deducted from debtors or deducted from bills receivable if debtors are not given we can deduct this from bills receivable provision for depreciation machinery building this provision for depreciation can be deducted from the cost of machinery and cost of building bills payable is a current liability Outstanding expenses is a current liability. Debenture is a non-current liability. Share capital and profit and loss account, shareholders fund. Cash in hand, prepaid expenses, bills receivable, inventories, investments. All these will be taken under current assets. Machinery at cost, building at cost, land. These three will be taken under non-current assets, fixed assets. That's all. So we are required to make the comparative balance sheet of Ravi Limited. Ravi Limited comparative balance sheet as on 31st December 1617. Particular 1617 absolute change percentage change. So first of all, shareholders fund. Share capital 1 lakh, 1 lakh, no change. Profit and loss account 11,750, 26,000. Total A. A is the total of shareholders fund. Non-current liabilities are debentures. So I have taken the dividends of both the years, B. B is the total of non-current liabilities. Now current liabilities are bills payable and outstanding expenses. Only two current liabilities are there. I have denoted it as C. Now take the respective amounts from the problem. In the problem, the last year value, current year value is taken. A is the total, B is the total, C. So total of A plus B plus C. 150,000 is the total of the liabilities side of last year and 165,750 is the total of liabilities of the current year. Now asset side. Assets are non-current assets, fixed assets, land. Then machinery, 
costless depreciation and building costless depreciation in the problem cost is given and depreciation is given so what we have to do is depreciation will be deducted from cost so after deducting depreciation from cost we got the value 11,000 and 16,250 directly it is not given in the problem in the problem cost is given separately depreciation is given but we should deduct the depreciation from cost and take the return down value then D is the total of non-current assets current assets are now we'll give the interpretation for this balance sheet for this balance sheet the first one uh, the current assets will be compared with the current liability the current assets increased by here you can see 5.85 percent 5.85 percent is the increase in current assets and current liabilities have increased by 21.92 percent that means the increase in current liability is much higher than the increase in current assets that means the short term liquidity position has deteriorated during the year 2017 the current asset increased by 5.85 percent whereas current liability increased by 21.92 percent so liquidity position has come down in the current year 2017 secondly the fixed assets increased by 20.53 percent here you can see fixed assets 20.53 percent is the increase in fixed assets normally the fixed assets should be purchased from long-term funds long-term funds means either from the shareholders fund or from the non-current liability here you can see there is no increase in share capital and debentures have decreased that means there are no further long-term funds have been introduced then how from where have we have purchased the fixed assets the fixed assets are purchased from short-term funds which is not a prudent commercial practice it's not good to purchase the fixed assets from short-term funds here there is no increment in long term funds but there is increment in fixed assets that means the company is not doing good now the fixed assets whereas the long term funds have not increased it means the fixed assets are financed from short term funds which is not a prudent policy it's not a correct policy third one the profit and loss account balance has increased by 121% which indicates the profitability has increased significantly if you compare the PL account last year 11,750 current year 26,000 so in absolute terms the increment is 14,250 in percentage terms PL account increased by 121.27 percent so significant increase in profitability is observed here last one from the above analysis it appears that except the profitability the overall financial position is not satisfied profitability is good but short term solvency position is not good and even long term solvency position is also not correct because the fixed assets are financed from short term funds. So these are the interpretation for this problem number 13. So totally 13 problems have completed on financial statement analysis preparing the common size and comparative. The next video I will start the problems on trend analysis. So few more videos I have to prepare for financial statement analysis. Keep watching. Be enhanced with immense knowledge. Inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.